about, we wanted to talk, get you to talk about a little bit of things about seeing Eliza at the UMKC mm -hmm. tournament and how that would feel instead of seeing her in a playing role and you would see her as a coach. Yeah. And how um, that's yeah. Um, me and her definitely grew really close while she was here playing. She's probably one of my um, closer teammates, mm -hmm. um, per se. And I'm definitely super excited for her, happy for her that she's able to be a GA for UMKC. And I hate, like, we don't have a lot of time to see each other. It's not like we can drive up there. So it'll be exciting just to, number one, see her, um, but also see kind of how she's transitioned into more of the coaching role and see um, kind of how she's able to help for players, whereas like when she was a teammate, she was able to help us, but just kind of switching over to the like the new role. So yeah, yeah I'm excited. Yeah. So uh, we saw the uh, the Harper family. Yep. Us. How does it feel having those kids around the team all the time? Does that kind of raise your guys' spirits? A oh bit? yeah, they're Jackson's great. Kylie, she's she's great. She's adorable. So cute. Um, but yeah, if you're having a bad day or something, you can always come to Jackson. Just come up and give you a big hug. Um, he's always smiling. They also keep it like a little bit lighter um, yeah. because they're always they're always in a good mood. They always want to play. They're I don't know. It's great, and we have a lot of fun. If you had one favorite thing about having them around, oh be gosh, fun. probably I would say the bus rides because yeah. number one they get very long sometimes, yeah. and you know Netflix. It's nice, but you know sometimes you need a little break from Netflix, and so Jackson will build forts or will like pretend like we're superheroes, just play with him. So that's kind of nice. That's yeah. probably one of my favorite parts. Yeah. So uh, looking forward to the team this year. Um, you're obviously the only senior on mm -hmm. the roster. How do you plan on being an example and setting kind of the lead for this team? Yeah, I think mostly. Well, so I guess I have had the most experience, and I've de I've been to the NCAA tournament. So I think. Um, I kind of know what the standard is, the um, energy we need to bring, the urgency we need to bring, and I think the biggest thing that I can do is just lead by example. So if we, I don't know, need more energy that day of practice, just being louder, going harder, and just hoping that everyone else kind of follows. Um, but yeah, that's the biggest thing, probably just lead by example. Yeah. And um, what do you expect from the team kind of as a whole? It's definitely early. It's early to yeah. tell, you know. We've been in practice for about two weeks now, and I think at first everyone was kind of like, whoa, like especially the freshmen, but now they're getting everything under their belts and kind of getting into the swing of things. But, I mean, yeah, we want to have a successful season. Um, we want to have, obviously, more wins than losses. Um, and then, obviously, the end goal, I think, every year is playing postseason and NCAA tournament. And then just once again, Coach yeah. Harper has put together quite the non-con schedule for you ladies. I'm sure you're Yeah, I wouldn't excited. expect anything else. Right. Yeah. But it's a catch-22. It's, it's going to be grueling. It's going to be hard, yeah. but it's going to help. Oh, definitely, yeah. I think that only helps us for later on, you know, gets us ready for when we're in postseason, you know. It just pushes us to be better. Do you feel an extra responsibility at all offensively, given the loss of Liza last year? And I mean, you were kind of the, yeah. the second option. No. Yeah, no, I feel like, you know, this year we're going to have a good, like, full attack, you know. It's not just going to be me. I mean, we have a bunch of new young girls who can score. We have girls returning who can score. So I feel like we're going to be pretty complete in that area. And I know I ask you this uh, every year, but just being able to be close to home and have that yeah. hometown pride of being a Lady Bear, I'm sure it's just something you're still glowing about, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, I love it. You know, it's great that my parents, they're always going to be in the stands. My whole family, really, we have like a whole row behind the bench. <laughs> and, you know, people from my hometown can come watch me. You know, I'm always going to have people here at my games. And, I mean, it's great. My dad can come and rebound for me whenever, you know. Like, yeah. I'll be like, Dad, I don't want to run after the ball today. And I'm like, okay, I'll come up. <laughs> like... It's great. That's good. I think we're good. Sweet. Yeah. Thank awesome. You. Great. Appreciate Thank it. you. Any ladies, any right. favors? But I guess that in the long run, of course, is a good thing, right? When it yes. comes to the real season. Yes, I'm excited for that. We always love a challenge. It prepares us for conference, which is hard as well. And I think just playing against different teams every year gives us a different expectation to look for, I guess. Just like through scouting reports and stuff like that. So I think it'll be really good for us. Do you think um, having such a young team gives you guys a little bit more motivation just to get out the door and hit the ground running early? Yes, I think we're excited to prove people wrong. Some people think we might be lacking because Liza and Buckley are gone, but I think we'll pull through and just be very assertive with what we're doing.
Yeah, Liza had a lot of shots last year, and now, you know, it's, a lot of those are going to fall on you, right? Yes, I'm hoping so. It's going <laughs> to balance out between me, Alexa, and Danielle. So I think Emily and Shamika will get some more shots up, so I'm excited for that. Good, cool. Awesome. Cool. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, Bryce. Appreciate it.